Hey peeps, what's up? Tanchi here, back with another video, and we have the first official build of Pixel Experience available. And do note, right now it is in beta form, and we are using this on our Poco X3 Pro. So let us go ahead, have a look at the features of the official build of Pixel Experience. Of course, this is based on Android. 13. So this is how the build comes out of the box. You do have your pixel launcher in the building and select works without any issues. Screenshot also works. If you want to share your screenshot, you do have your quick share menu as well. Animations, as you can see, are pretty smooth. Something which has been expected of pixel experience. No lag, nothing like that. Everything is pretty smooth and pretty fast. And this right here is at 120 hertz. And if I were to switch between the application using the gestures, bam, here it is. No issues in that regard either. Next up, let us check out the power menu. So this is how the power menu is going to look like. And do note, dark theme is not enabled, but Google decided to go with dark colored quick settings and power menu in the light theme as well. So that is how it is on Pixel experience. Of course, you do have your power menu from the bottom of your quick settings panel as well. And similarly, you can access the settings menu also. Now going back to our quick settings, you will notice that the options for your separate quick setting tiles for Wi-Fi and mobile data are missing. If you go into the option for screen recorder, you will notice that you now have a new toggle to show the touches on screen. If I go into edit, I also have three new toggles which have been added. So you have scanning the QR code, one handed mode and color correction along with the new UI for your quick settings media player, which does look pretty awesome. It has a bigger album art. Your progress bar has a little worm kind of thing. And then if you press and hold, the UI is more material you. And if any app is running in the background, you will get a notification for that also on the bottom left of your expanded quick settings panel. Next up, of course, with Android 13, you do get a bigger gesture bar as well. And if you go into your wallpaper and style option, Pixel Experience does give you the Bloom Live wallpapers and the curated culture. This is the one which I am using right now. So these are all Pixel exclusive wallpapers. And with Android 13, your palette for the wallpaper style has changed or expanded to 16 options for your wallpaper colors. And the same applies for your basic colors as well. So that is a welcome change. And of course, themed icons are still in beta. Next up, if I open the Chrome browser here, then if I select anything, for starters, you will notice that the pop-up menu is in Hindi. That is because I have activated per app language. I will show you how you can change that for a specific application. Now, if I copy anything and tap on what I have copied, I can now edit whatever I have copied. And once I'm satisfied, I can select done and then I can share it with whoever I want to share it with. Now for per app language, you have two ways of doing that. So you can go into settings, system, languages and input app languages here in select your application and then you can change whatever language you want the other option is if you go into settings and then you can go into apps and say see all apps here and again choose any application and for supported apps you should be able to change the language to whatever you want to change it to while we are in this section, let us go into Chrome and go into permissions. You will notice a few new permissions over here. So you have notifications. Yes, any application which you open with Android 13 and it wants notification access, it is going to ask you that do you want to let this application send you notifications. Then you also have something called music and audio and photos and videos. So these two have been separated and for file manager applications, you will also see system wide file access. But now with Android 13, due to this dividing your files into music and audio and photos and videos, 
a music player does not need access to your photos and videos so that is what they are trying to prevent now going back into the settings page another change you will notice is that the search menu or the search bar in your settings is now pinned when you scroll through the settings page next up we can jump over to the battery section now here and you will notice you have your per app thermal profiles available and these are the different options which you have then you have your battery saver you do have the pixel exclusive extreme battery saver baked in along with your battery percentage and turning on the light when the battery is charging and adaptive battery is present along with adaptive charging moving over to sound and vibration you of course have the option of separate ringtones for your dual sims live caption is present but it is broken right now as soon as i try to enable it android system intelligence keeps on crashing then you have vibration and haptics so you have your system wide vibration and haptics master toggle and you can also control the vibration at a granular level so whether you want your phone to vibrate when you get a phone call or do you want to vibrate first and then ring then you have toggles to control vibration for your notification alarm touch feedback and media you of course have shortcut to prevent ringing so you can press power and volume up together to switch between vibrate and mute to go away from those you'll have to use your button here in your volume panel to switch between the different options then you have toggles for all these different options over here and they have added a new toggle for showing when the phone is in vibrate mode so if i put the phone into vibrate mode you should see the toggle in the quick settings panel here it is phone is now in vibrate mode and me sound enhancer and clear speaker features might be for xiaomi redmi and poco devices only next up we can jump over to display so you do have your adaptive brightness and if you go into lock screen you now have a toggle to control your smart devices from the lock screen as well if you enable this specific toggle over here control from locked device then for dark theme if you have set up your bedtime schedule in the clock application once you set that up you can now schedule your dark theme for bedtime only so here it is dark theme schedule you have your custom time sunset to sunrise but you also have turn on at bedtime so this is something new with android 13 the screensaver page also has gotten a ui overhaul a totally new menu over here and you have your preview option as well along with the master toggle then for your display size and text so these two options have been combined you can of course make it bigger you do have a preview on top what is the display size you want do you want your text to be bold do you want high contrast text and if you do not like any of that want to revert back you have the option of reset settings as well everything working without any issues auto rotate is present along with face detection and of course for your refresh rate this is device specific so you have 60 90 and 120 available for the poco x3 pro double tap to wake and ambient settings are there however double tap to wake sometimes works sometimes it does not work so it is not perfect right now there it is you can see it is not working but now it is working next up we can jump over to security so no face unlock right now in pixel experience based on android 13 the only option you have is for fingerprint now for the poco x3 pro the fingerprint is not perfect there are times when it doesn't work times when it works absolutely fine so i think some improvement is needed in that regard again the rom is still in beta phase next up we have privacy so in privacy if you go into the privacy dashboard select see all permissions here and also you will notice you have the new permissions of music and audio notifications and photos and videos files is still there but i do not have any file manager application installed right now then we can go into system here and go into gestures you will see quick tap on the back again pixel exclusive feature and it is working like a boss on the poco x3 pro you also have your system navigation so you have three different options you have gestures and no option to hide the gesture bar 
two button navigation is there along with three button navigation you can use whatever you want to use one handed mode is also present and it works without any issues then you have your press and hold power button customization in case you want to invoke the assistant you can do that as well and bam here it is working without any issues next thing we can talk about is safety net so we have yet another safety net checkered application over here as you can see everything is passing without any issues we can also head over to the google play store go into settings go into about bam here it is play protect certification device is certified this means your banking apps should be working without any issues with respect to youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine except for live caption but picture in picture works there is no lag in the ui no stutter sound works absolutely fine with respect to your assistant lady yes she is present and it works with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well the assistant lady is there to help you out with respect to your google photos yes you do have this special feature available in pixel experience and one which is missing is magic eraser so if i try to edit this picture going to tools the only option i see is blur so pixel experience hasn't been able to implement magic eraser they were not able to implement it with android 12 either then if i go into a picture of my favorite football star try to edit the picture go into portrait mode i should have the option of portrait light in tools so here it is portrait light feature present working without any issues similarly you also have the option of blur as you can see over here the blur feature is also working without any issues the same applies for your sky and color focus so all those features working like a boss so what is the final take on the official build of pixel experience based on android 13 well this build right now is in beta form and as you did see there are some issues here and there but there have been no random reboots or anything like that everything is pretty smooth crazy fast animations are good gestures are good so all in all a great rom and of course because it is in beta you might have some device specific issues like for the poco x3 pro the fingerprint scanner is not the best right now double tap to wake has some issues and your live caption is not working properly and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you